Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative and in this week's tutorial I'm going to be talking about an issue that you may have come across sometimes on your Divi website and sometimes you'll see the number three in your menu like where where you would have a sub menu drop down where the icon would be for that there will be a three or maybe you're on a mobile device or in the mobile preview and instead of the hamburger icon you see a small a so in this video I'm going to talk about what's happening here and give you some troubleshooting tips and give you a solution on how to solve this so you can see from my screenshot on the blog post kind of the example of what it would look like you know where the drop down menu icon is a three and on mobile instead of the hamburger menu there's an a and yeah this seems kind of weird doesn't it it's pretty it's a weirdness right like why would this happen well both the drop down menu icon and the hamburger menu icon are are using a pseudo class with content added to them all right and the font family the built-in font family in divi is called et modules and um, so basically it's saying like like here I actually have the examples um, so like the desktop drop down menu is like um, ET menu ET menu item has children right if so if it's a, a parent item that has a sub menu then the after pseudo class says content and the number three and the font family is ET modules so there's where the three is coming from right um, now normally it shows like a, a carrot symbol, right? So for the hamburger menu icon, then it's mobile menu bar, and then before pseudo class, all right, so it's content A, well there's that A, and it's font family ET modules. That's what you would see if you inspect and see this. So that's what, that's, you know, that's literally what's in the code. So what's happening then is those numbers showing are like the fallback when the the actual module font didn't correctly uh, translate, if you want to put it that way, um, so basically there's a font family in Divi that's used for like the user interface, like when you open up the Divi Builder and there's little icons, so it's used for that, and also like things like the drop down menu and the and the hamburger menu, the icons like when you go to into like a blur or an icon module and you pick an icon, some of those are actually from the same font family. Even though they're icons, they're actually a font, all right? A type of font. And that's why it's a little confusing. So, how to fix this? Well, here's some steps. Now, none of these are like, I can't say for sure, like it's definitely this issue. This issue will definitely fix it. That's why I listed actually seven different things here, or actually maybe more than that. Um, so this is what I would recommend as the order for processing this, okay? So start out, well, let's start really simple, right? Make sure you, it's just not your internet being really slow. Because what will happen is if your internet speed was really slow, um, it would that would be like one of the last things to load, right? It'll load like the menu, and then there'll be like this like split second or, or even a second or two where you, you see the number three and then you don't. So that could be caused by that. So just roll that out, like make sure it's not that. Keep going, you know. And then similarly, check the Divi hosting server requirements. So you can do that. Um, in fact, let me show you, you go to, so go to Divi support center like this. And then up here at the top, um, it's going to give you like these red or green dots, you know, so just make sure like the things like the memory limit, uh, the max execution time, uh, max input time, like these kind of things are all green. All right, most of these should be green, if not all of them. Uh, I'm on a local server, so there's some a couple issues here, but yeah, just make sure that your your hosting meets Divi's recommendations here. Here's one that it, it's, it's pretty likely also. So make sure you have the padlock from an SSL certificate. So check the top left corner of your browser. So what normally would happen here is, is mixed content. So if let's say you have images that are loaded when the site was what didn't have the SSL certificate, so they would be HTTP, but then you also have other files and links that were loaded when the site was with your SSL certificate. So now they're HTTPS, 
So now they're mixed content, right? So check your links. You can run like a search and replace with the like better search replace plugin. Um, another thing to check is actually in WordPress settings. Let me show you something. There are two fields right here, WordPress address and site address. Just make sure they're the same, whether they're HTTP or HTTPS, they should be the same. Now I'm on a local site here with a local WP, so it's not an S, but yours should be. Just make sure they're the same, right? Well, the same protocol there. That was it for that. One other thing could be if you're using a custom link in the menu, if you were in, had a menu and this custom link right here, so if your menu had, you know, HTTP and the rest of your site was HTTPS, so like if you had a custom link here to go to some other site or something, that could do it as well. All right, check that. Now just try different browsers. So check Chrome, you know, Safari, Firefox, all the different ones. Have some buddies or colleagues check it, you know, say, hey, when you load my website, do you see anything like a number three or an A in the menu, you know, or something, just ask. And then if they do or don't, you know, you know, note down which browser it's happening and try to really narrow that down. Um, some browsers have different, you know, protocols for blocking certain things. We'll, we'll get to that a little bit. So clear your cache. This is like the cliche thing everyone says, clear your cache. It actually is important and it actually will help sometimes with this issue. The best thing you could probably do here is disable any caching plugin. You could try the control shift R method, you know, hard refresh of your browser, but yeah, definitely check if you're seeing like the persistent issue, check by turning off those plugins and see if that fixes it. Now, another thing is to check the console for errors. So if there's some kind of error, it, even if it was a mixed content error, like we talked about, that would show up. So if I'm on a page here and I right click, click inspect, and if I, this you know, that would be an A there, but um, console is the second tab here, elements and then console. So you click on that, you'll see something like this, a red error. Now this error is actually from a, a Chrome extension. So it's not actually something on my site, but if it was, it would list it here and explain it. And you could, you know, use that as a clue and maybe Put that into your search engine to find a clue for that. The last thing is disable Divi performance settings. So right here I have where to go to check that. So in the back end, Divi theme options. So here you can see under the general tab, there's performance. So the first thing I would check is dynamic icons. Just make sure that is off and then go check. Um, that's probably going to help. You could also try dynamic CSS, um, but um, this one should be the one that helps with that. All right, so let's say you've gone through all that and none of that worked or you're just, you just are like worried and you have anxiety and you don't want it to ever happen again. You don't want it to happen for your visitors. Here is an actual, more of like, I call it a permanent solution, um, more of like you know, a finalized solution that will work. You know, and I'm, I'm not saying you have to do this, but if you're not noticing the issue, you know, you, know, you don't need to do this, but if you are noticing it and it's persistent, then here you go. What you would do is take this code right here, click on that and copy it, go into Divi theme options, go to the integration tab and right here, paste that in there. And now you can see this code is added in the code, add code to the head of your blog section, save your changes and <laughs> What will actually happen is now it's going to preload the font that I talked about that's that's used in Divi. And yeah, it's gonna preload it. I'll just keep it at that. Um, here I have some explanation of the code. I'm not gonna talk about that right now, but basically you know, it's using the link, it's preloading it, it's, it's looking for that, the URL, where that is located, the font inside the Divi folder, right? It's in this directory right here. And it will look like this if you find it. And this is how it will look. See those icons. Um, basically, that's it's just preloading that font so that it always shows correctly. Uh, all right. Yeah. And then at the bottom here, I have a link to uh, how to fix Divi. It's a, it's a full guide on all kinds of issues related to Divi that may be helpful as well. 
All right, so we do this every Tuesday. We have a tutorial related to Divi. Usually it's something a little more exciting than something like fixing a problem like this. Um, but hopefully um, you appreciate this kind of thing as well. This is kind of one of those things that um, happens occasionally to people and it's not like a consistent thing that we all need. But hey, when the time comes, now you know where it's at. All right, well, we'll see you all in our next video.